Are short skirts indicators of political prosperity, and how are you connecting the length of skirts with economics? Well, that's a pretty uh, funny one. Um, the, the idea of, of, of the short skirt indicator, if you like, skirt length indicator, let's put it this way, was dreamt up some years ago by a Wall Street trader who made the observation that when the stock prices are soaring off into the stratosphere, the skirt lengths uh, soar, uh, get shorter and shorter. And, when, and furthermore, not only the skirt lengths, but the colors get brighter and brighter. Uh, so when people are optimistic about the future, they're kind of carefree, they want to you know, show off a little more of their leggy assets, and so the, the designers uh, give shorter skirts. Uh, in times when people are fearing the future, pessimistic, let's say conservative, the skirt lengths tend to go down, and the colors tend to get distinctly bleak or dark browns, blacks, and so on. Uh, it's a, a, a pretty good uh, <clears throat> example of how social mood can bias a collective event because skirt lengths is an event that takes uh, an interaction of many people in the population to, to, to generate. Uh, and so it, I use it in the early part of my book, just uh, it's, it's kind of for fun. But it has a serious side to it because, for example, if you were a uh, clothing store owner or a distributor of, of women's clothing, you might like to have some advance warning that skirt lengths and colors are going to become shorter and brighter or longer and darker because that might give you even some small competitive advantage in your business. So, but in order to do that, you have to have a way of being able to forecast what the social mood is going to be uh, next year, in, in that case, because it's a short time scale event. And, and if you use the financial markets as your measure of social mood, that means you have to have a way of projecting the financial market index into the future, you know, forecasting what it will be, fortunately or, or not depending on your position, that there, there are hundreds, maybe thousands of methods that people have dreamed up for forecasting financial market averages. And strangely enough, some of them even work, at least for a while. So you can pick your favorite method, use it to forecast the financial market index, and that will give you in a forecast of what the mood of the population will be like on the time scale of the forecast.